Let's bring in Seth Greenberg to talk about that. South Carolina, 65 points in the second half. That's the most in school history. But if you look at in the in the Coach K era, it's the most Coach K has ever allowed to happen in a half. Do you know how many games that's been, Seth? Well, it's One, more than 1,000. 1,269 <laughs> games. Thanks for that nug nugget. You got that? Nugget. What happened? What happened? Hardest playing, toughest team. Coach that they are accustomed to. Player coach teams are always better than coach coach teams. All right. It's, it's really kind of symptomatic of a bigger issue for the conference in general because after that loss, nine ACC teams started the tourney. We're now to just one. That would be UNC. Do you think maybe – we overhyped the conference a little bit. My earlier nugget, can I give you another one? According oh, another, to Elias, please. another nugget. Uh, this is the first time that the preseason AP number one team, that's Duke, and then the final AP number one team, that's Villanova, both failed to make the Sweet 16 since 1981, both busting brackets in that East Dropping region. Dropping dimes. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. A bit of everything, in particular, uh, dishing it out, which is what he tends to do. Why do you think that he was so effective in the second half, though? Because it was a quiet start for him. I think when the game's on the line, he's... Are you going to love him in the matchup with Kentucky? We will get into that in just a little That's bit. That's called a tease. You like that? I like that. That That's was That's a tease. All right, can we talk uh, the pros now? Oh, we've, shown the, we've shown the kids There's enough. There's guy in the other... Rosillo. It's not revelatory to say that the Cavs need LeBron to win their 0-6 this season without him, but based on the load he's carrying, Tom, how do you think they should approach the last 13 games of the season? I'm I know this can sound incredibly selfish, and it's no more selfish than the fans saying, I want my Cavs team ready, I want my Warriors team ready, but I'm sure advertisers call us at ESPN or call TNT going, what are you doing with these primetime packages? And I'm sure we talk to people at the league office, I'm sure TNT does the exact same thing. I think it is a complete one-way partnership right now with the players who I am as pro players. Any guy you're going to hear out a way to make sure that they're pro like if Monday Night Football and it were in the heyday of, of Marino Elway and one guy's like, I want to get some rest. That's bad for business. Sure, for 16 games. <laughs> Right. right. I mean, I understand the 16. So if you just wanted to relate it to NBA stuff, and this is not being old or outdated, it's just I think you have to do a little better job being aware of where your product is being promoted. And if that's Saturday night game, if I'm not watching Clippers Cavs on a Saturday, that's a problem because sure. I'll watch anything. <laughs> Mash. That's a mismatch if you love, in the other direction. If you love uh, storylines, Frank Mason and then Caleb Swanigan, who you just mentioned, each of which made Sunday's four-man cut for the Naismith Trophy, they'll be duking it Incredible out. Incredible seasons, both court. of them. They really have. Another matchup in the Midwest, Oregon against Michigan. They've won seven straight, 12 of their last 14 games. What do you think has been the biggest difference for the Wolverines down this stretch? It can't just be the plane crash. No, it's, <laughs> look, this is a team we